Logan. What's up guys, it's your boy Jay Logan back with an all new WWE Elite Squad Review and as you should already know because I'm sure you already clicked on it, in this episode we're going to be taking a look at Elite Series 70, Seth freaking Rollins. And as you can see here, guys, he comes with uh, multiple accessories. He comes with that vest, which isn't even an accessory anymore. Uh, comes with exchangeable hands, balled at fists there, and the Intercontinental Championship title. WrestlingFigures.com. Uh, also, in this series, you come. it comes with that new Finn Balor that everyone's raving about. Uh, Johnny Gargano, that was the last review. EC3, I believe that'll be the next review. Uh, Mr. McMahon and Dolph. Ziggler. That Dolph Ziggler, I've been waiting for that one for years, so that's going to be a good one. Uh, also, career highlights on the Seth Rollins figure, Universal Champion, WWE Champion, uh, Intercontinental Champion. He was also Tag Team Champion with the Shield. I'm not sure why that's not on there, but yeah, there we go. This should be probably, I believe, uh, personally, the last Seth Rollins Shield figure. So, if you guys haven't gotten a Shield figure yet, uh, this is your last chance to get a Seth Rollins shield figure. I don't think he's going to be rocking any more vests for at least a decade or more. Uh, you guys know they split, and there's technically no getting back together the way they split. We'll never get the band back together the way it was. So let's go ahead and crack this figure open and look at, I would say, the last, yeah, shield Seth Rollins. This is during his reign earlier in uh, 2018, uh, last SummerSlam with the Intercontinental Championship. WrestlingFigures.com. Uh, yeah, the figure's a little overdue. It probably should have came out a couple series before or in, you know, the network highlights or, you know, some other version, but happy to have it. That new face sculpt, I personally don't have that one. This is also going to be all new. Well, let's get that belt out. I'm going to show you that belt first for all you guys that don't have an Intercontinental Championship yet. Uh, or if you do, I just want to show you the paint, the deco. Show you how Mattel's getting it in. Big shout out to Mattel. Big shout out to ringsidecollectibles.com, aka wrestlingfigures.com. That's right there in the corner. Big shout out to them for sending out this figure to review. I love you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of uh, the number one in wrestling figure team. Uh, you guys know I appreciate it and love it. So, get some more glisten on that title. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, let's go on and move on to this Seth Rollins figure. Because that's why you're here anyway. Go to ringsidecollectibles.com. to the side a little bit. I want to take these fists out because in the last video I didn't even move hands. But since these are black balled up gloves, I want to make sure to actually move that glare. It's kind of balled up fists with the gloves, as you can see. Got the veins and whatnot. Put that to the side. Pop this off. As you guys know, exchangeable hands are now the new big thing in uh, elite figures. Uh, basics will not be able to do such things. Uh, you should already know that. There we go. Hold the fist. Hold the fist. And that vest. Uh, I stretch out the figure 32 points of articulation like with all uh, Mattel WWE Elite figures as you see has that proud looking smirk face I guess uh, it's more of a proud smile but uh, you know what I mean you know what I mean you watch the product so I really like the way Mattel nailed this vest right here it actually looks like cloth even though it's rubber uh, 
I like it when they get these vests perfectly right. But, you know, it's kind of hard to mess up the vest. As you can see, it's packed again with that whole little, you know, I guess that's in shipping. Maybe it happens when it comes through to my city because it's real hot here in the desert. Um, you see black on black with more black, black boots. If you already own a Seth Rollins shield figure, there's not much different going on here except for the hands are swappable. The new head. The new vest. Actually, I think this vest completely comes off to reveal the under uh, black shirt, which it does. Just in case you want to rip the vest off and have some kind of extreme match where I guess Brock Lesnar would rip it off. I don't know. That's who he's been fighting a lot lately to get the uh, Universal title. So, alright, there it is. That's that same. Uh, Upper, or so I guess that would come with a Jeff Hardy figure because it's not the normal one that would normally come with Seth. But I understand why they use the smaller one to put the vest on and make it look smooth and clean because you probably wouldn't really take the vest off. I don't think uh, Seth took it off in that match. I don't know. I'd have to rewatch the match. I actually didn't watch the match before I did this review like I usually do, but that's because I'm not at the studio. Uh, all right. What am I missing, guys? 32 points of articulation. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the shield. The logo is clean. The new face sculpt is clean. Let me move that hand so you can get that glisten from that other light over there. Seth freaking Rollins, Mr. Burn It Down. Uh, you guys already know the rest. He's one of the biggest superstars on the brand today. So if you guys are looking for this figure, you want it early before the retailers get it, go to wrestlingfigures.com. Uh, that's ringsidecollectibles.com. The links are all in my video. Just tap the video, go to the description. Whatever you need to do, use that discount code WWE10 or YouTube and save yourself 10% at checkout. Um, you're spending more than $50 at the site, I'm sure you can get that free shipping because the shipping is uh, usually two days shipping to get it to you fast. So they like to put a little on that. So like I said, if you want to pay that premium, get these figures before anyone else in the world, like the number one guy around, uh, which I am not, but <laughs> you definitely want to go to ringsidecollectibles.com and put that order in and they will get these figures to you extra early before any retail stores get their hands on it and that's a fact guys so yeah like the video comment on the video if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to answer them for you uh, and to go ahead and wrap it up don't forget to uh, Google me guys Google SLS and WWE just for fun just do it just to do it so I can go up on the uh, Google whatever <laughs> and so that WWE can see more of my work and know that my SLS will be synonymous with WWE as long as these figures are being produced which should be forever right um, anyway I'll see you guys in the next one uh, peace